fanatics here, and oh, wait a second, that's right, we are no longer fanatics. This is our very last YouTube channel content under the fanatics banner. We are now Big River Pets. Why Big River Pets? Because we're more than just fish now. We have reptiles, we are expanding into our grooming salon and dog boutique and cat stuff coming. And give us some time, it'll take a while to fill out all the way with all the other groups, but we are already pushing towards being more of a full service pet store, in which case being fanatical about our fish continues, but now we're even more. Uh, first thing out of the box are some feeders. We got some feeder goldfish there. Looks like we're going to be back to rationing on our arms. Got a couple pounds today, uh, and they're going to do a couple pounds every two weeks. We'll still be able to provide them, but we're taking people down to about two ounces a week. Uh, as long as supplies last. Next we have another box of fish. Not quite as many fish this week as last week, but still a pretty good batch. Some of the villains I missed last week and also whatever all we sold out of. We were really busy this last couple of weeks. First thing out are uh, hill stream, or hill trouts. Aurelius Baker, I believe, are those the Ardens. Oh, they're the Ardens, the orange fin version. I uh, got both Baker Eye and Ardens in this week. Really cool fish, one of my favorites. Uh, about five inch silvery with blue spots and dots. Beautiful for your medium aggressive, bigger, faster fish. Uh, let's see, penguin tetras. These are a tetra we get in occasionally. They can be a little on the nippy side. Again, for your mildly chasing nippy group, they can do very well. Next is some bumblebee autosynculus, so this would be nanos. Big stock up on nanos this week in general. We just moved our nano section over. The whole second row in our shop is all nanos now. Uh, so it, here we have some black tiger darios. It's like your, uh, it's a version of your scarlet baddis, but we call them black tiger because they got a little black on them, almost like a honey dwarf brownie. Uh, next is chili rasboras. Now the restock on those guys. Got more last week, got even more this week. So pretty much out. Uh, let's see, this is some cardinals. Another 50. We asked for 100 last week. They didn't give us 100, they gave us 50. Didn't bother asking for 100 this week because I want to be told though. I hate being told now. But uh, we got 50 more. We still got enough to sell you guys on our Tetra special. Remember, 25% off four more if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, Flame Dwarf Grammys came in this week. They were out of stock last week, so we got just some more of those guys. Flame Dwarf Grammys, and all Dwarf Grammys are super cool. Love them. Uh, here's a restock. This is a South American Leaffish. This guy's looking really dark in the bag. He'll probably lighten up a little bit in the tank. Really, really cool special fish. You should do them by themselves with other larger, very state fish. A huge mouth for their size. Here's another Tetra restock. Those are Ruminos Tetras. Gotta have lots of those because you guys love your Ruminos and so do we. We don't want to be out. Remember, all our Tetras are on the special. If you've subscribed to your Big River Pets YouTube channel, you can get 25% off four more of your Tetras. Each different species. All right, another box down. Let's see what else we got going here. Oh, these are mustache daniels, that's why. Larger daniel like a giant daniel. Mustache daniels have whiskers like a catfish. I haven't had those in, I don't know if I've ever had those here. They're a neat daniel, bigger guy. Uh, let's see, tire track gill, tiny tire track gill, but they will get large, three feet-ish. Uh, big like a, a fire eel, but not as massive, much more nasty than your own to kill fish. Albino rainbow sharks. Another larger than they look species. Good for your uh, semi aggressive, you know, like a three or four foot tank. A little bit of movement. Uh, a very interesting, unusual barb in our market. These are a uh, long time staple of the European market. These are dwarf barbs, or they're called green dwarf barbs. They look an awful lot like a cross between, I don't know, a tiger barb, a uh, black ruby barb, and maybe an 
Odessa barb, but they're a smaller, about an inch long barb, uh, pretty mellow. They uh, used to keep them in unfiltered tanks. Uh, tiger Inblers. Got to fill out our newly established live bear section, just like our uh, nano section, our live bear section, finally came together last week. So now we got lots of room to stuff more in, and we'll have a lot of these boxes. This guy you can't see because he's up at the top here. This is a little puffer, a little red and brown Congo puffer, or a Tetradon Mirius. One of many freshwater puffers that we love. Here's a black ghost knife. Got a couple of these this week. Got a spot in the back where I can stick more than a few. So I don't like putting them together. They tend to eat each other's tails. But uh, black ghost knives are a lot of fun. You can do them in a community tank as long as they're not bigger than the other fish in the tank. They can suck down a surprisingly large fish, maybe cardinal size, uh, if they're in the mind too. And they're electric. Uh, zebra Daniels, that's another stock normal fish we have here, relatively inexpensive schooling fish, and a great community fish in the right community. They will nip the fins, they're kind of fast and nippy, but uh, get them with other fast fish, it's not a problem. Scissor tail reservoirs, I haven't had in in a while. I'm not even sure why I haven't, other than I just forgot to order them. Very fun reservoir, they're up to about two inches, so a little bigger than what you think of. You think mostly like harlequins or chili reservoirs when you think of reservoirs. It's actually a pretty good bunch of one, two, even three inch reservoirs that are a lot of fun. Uh, Asian fish. Alrighty, here we go. Got a big box here. Let's see what this stuff in here for us. This is a half flat bag of white clouds. Just regular old white clouds. Great for a cooler tank or a planted tank or really just about any tank. They're a party and really a pretty old fish. Uh, these would be albino Buenos Aires. I thought I ordered regular Buenos Aires, but apparently I got albino ones. So I carry those out often, but they're kind of cool. Bigger, more boisterous schooling tetra. Here we have feeder guppies. Shorted those last week, so I'm glad to have them this week. I got a whole dozen ACIA cichlids. Those are African cichlids. Good looking batch, nice size on them, good price on them too. Uh, frogs, been in short supply. Nice big ones, actually. Uh, I think we paid just a bit more on these than we do on average, but at least we have some to share. Yeah, they look good. So good time to pick up some frogs. Uh, where are you? Oh, black and for tetras. Look awful washed out in the bag. We gotta pick up some color when they hit the tank. Nice looking schooling tetra again on the tetra special. And more tetras. These aren't on the tetra special. The mixed fruit. Glow Tetras are kind of a thing on their own. We don't offer this special on them, but we do have a good selection of different colors on Glow Tetras. Uh, let's see, more for your guppy. that box. Uh, rams, got some of these last week. These are the black rams, beautiful fish. Sold out of them so quick, we doubled up our order this week. Beautiful, beautiful black rams. Uh, here's some shrimp. Some red crystal shrimp sold out of these last week, also. I swear if we got a whole batch of those on last one, too. We should put it out of here. Um, some Oscars. We stock a limited number of baby Oscars because we get a ridiculous amount of large Oscars back. Alrighty, here we go with the other half of this order. Let's see if we bang this out real quick. First thing we have here is some cherry barbs. Looking good. Nice red males. Females too, mostly males actually. Nice looking cherry bars. Here's those Brillius Bakeri I was talking about. Look a heck of a lot like those Ardens. They got the pink fins. I wonder if they got two batches of Ardens. It's also a Melibarensis. It has red tips. They both actually look more like that than they do. You know one of those. Uh, glass cats are next on the list here. Always nice to have a few see through fish. Here is some albino Cory cats stock on those guys. Here comes some rainbows. These are yellow rainbows. I like yellow rainbows. Melanotania Herbert Axelrod. I have a light gray Herbert Axelrod. Uh, then we have some sword tails. Neon sword tails. Going to go in our newly revamped library section. And here is some narrow wedge or the Hingley, the 
These are like the Respora Hits or Harlequins, but they're the narrow edge variety. And then we have Neon Blue Resporas. We were talking about Nanos. Actually, the Harlequins and the narrow edges kind of get stuffed in that same group too, though. We have them in the Tetra aisle. But uh, lots and lots of Nanos on this order. Tiny fish. So I'm trying to pick some really cool ones. more boxes to go. Let's see if we can rip through these. Up we have Cory Cats, Paleatus Corys, Salt and Pepper Corys, I'll also call them. Very pretty cooler water cory. And then we have another cooler water fish. This is a reticulated hill stream loach. Reticulated hill streams are very popular. Up to about four inches. Nice, they look like a sucker mouth fish, but they're really a worm eating fish that likes to use their whole body to hold on with. This is a big bag of neon tetras. I think we got a couple of bags of neon sold almost completely out, even though we got a big bag last time. Another fish we sold almost completely out of. These are panda quarries. More panda quarries for you. And another fish we sold completely out of last week. These are rocket clown killies. You get these in small batches. They're a small, very delicate fish in the nano section. Uh, make sure they come in good. I uh, get them in small batches. This is a reorder. These are Corridoris Schwartzy. I have a couple left over there, but they only usually come through about once a year. A Brazilian Cory that's particularly nice. So we went ahead and doubled up on those. Uh, Silver Arowana. We got shorted one last week, so I brought in another for stock. Already sold the two that we got last week. And a mono shrimp, or something we just can't be without. So dozens of Amano shrimp here, so we get bags of those just about every week. Actually, there's a couple bags. And let's see, let's see some more Amblers. These are green snakeskin Amblers. Got a couple different batches of Amblers this week. Been ramping up on the live bearers and the nano fish. And these kind of fit both nano and live bearers. So there we go. Neon Tetras. We look at those twice. Uh, Guntheri. These are these the branches. Guntheri Kelly. Got some pairs. Looks like three pairs of those guys this week. Good looking fish. Uh, Toucan Tetras. Both on our Tetra special and a Nano fish. A small, beautiful Tetra from the River Tucano. Some more half moon female bettas. Got some last week, restocked this week. They came in so pretty. The koi's came in really pretty too. We still have a couple of those over there. Uh, and this is a restock on spotted blue eye rainbow, or most people know them as Gertrude's rainbow. Uh, water dance, beautiful little nano fish. Uh, blue Medusa fleco came in really small, actually. Really small. Cute little bugger. They'll get up to about seven inches ish for your Medusa Plecos, the Blue Medusa, the L, uh, LDA actually, 74. Uh, super Pleco uh, Alligator, really. Boris Mera, or Phoenix Res Bora. Another common stock item for us for our nano section. Very similar to a chili or a strawberry Res Bora. Uh, but we always gotta have at least a few of those. Uh, Diamond Ed Neons, restocked on those. So those we are entirely out. A little bit, not completely. And here starts some more live bears. Ordered a bunch of guppies this week. We'll see how many we got. These are the uh, leopard tail males. Pretty good. And here are some monocaras. These are the Jacob Fryerberg Holy Reef or something of the sort. So those are your African peacocks. Continue to stock up on peacocks by insane because they have a whole row of those guys for you to choose from both adults and juveniles so uh, adults have been a little bit hard to come by this last couple weeks but a lot of things are everybody is out of a lot of stuff and yet we're still finding boxes of stuff to bring to you because that's what we do the last box on this order for today let's see what kind of Wild and crazy critters we found from around the globe. 
bring to you right here, Big River Prince. First up is Daniel Frank, yeah. or Leopard Daniel. A uh, variation of a zebra dander. They're actually the same fish, just different spot pattern. Uh, and here is a scarlet battis. We showed you some tiger battis earlier. These are nearly the same fish, a little different uh, species on that, and a little different color, but both very cool little nano fish. Kind of look like a miniature cichlid. Uh, more guppies. This is a gold snakeskin guppy. And more tetras. These are. Lemon Tetras. Always hard to tell what these guys are when they come out of the bag because they are so blanched, just uh, clear looking fish. But uh, they have a nice little lemon color to them, plus the lemon Tetra is the name. Uh, then more guppies. These are, uh, what do they call them, red tailed black guppies. We call that tuxedo sometimes, but it looks like a little bit spotted. A little bit. And then here's assorted female guppies. Got a bunch more. Female guppies running around here. Just, we have to have those balance out the guys. And Cominados, gotta have a lot of those guys. Here's a restock on Cominados for you. Uh, great for taking up algae, in particular your uh, brown algae in the planet tanks, right off the least of the plants. These are a bumblebee cat. Uh, this is a uh, orange mini, they call it. Aclesis vespa. And follow the common scientific names. A bunch of different types of those. I believe these are a South American version. Uh, this is an ember tetra, not a nano fish and a tetra. Somebody asked me where they were at, and I came up blanks because we only have one. <laughs> I was like, how, how can we only have one ember tetra? We always have that. Those like a must for a nano tank. Uh, last fish on this order is a royal farwella. There's a restock on these guys. Got a couple weeks ago, a batch of these. Came in really small, and we've grown them up. These guys are pretty on the smallish side, but we'll fatten them up. They did really well, actually. I don't think we lost a single one, even though they came in even smaller than this group. So that's it for this group of fish for this week.